Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to use stop motion app on your iPad to create a short stop motion movie. Uh, this example we're going to look at how to create a movie all about the Umrah. So first of all select the app called stop motion, it's that little icon there. Uh, if you can't find it just go into the search and type stop motion. Okay, that's the app you need to download and install if you haven't got it. So once you start the app you can see all your movies on the first page. Uh, we're going to start by creating a new movie. We click on the plus sign on the left and you get given this frame. Uh, there's a little introduction there to, to allow you to change the settings of your movie. And just an explanation of how to use the basic app. So just an introduction. Um, here we've got um, my camera is on my iPad is now on a stand just to ensure that there's stability and that's quite important when you do the stop frame so I'm just going to adjust my frame to make sure that I can see all of the content that I want to show in my movie um, you might need to lower your camera or increase it so just play around with the settings on the position of your camera before you start to uh, to create your movie so I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting my camera now just to make sure I've covered the whole entire scene uh, I think I'm happy with that one now. It's important in a stop frame animation to make sure your screen remains uh, fixed or your camera remains fixed. On the left hand side we've got here are the, um, the brightness options and the grid options. On the, on the right hand side of the screen I've got my record option and playback options. So we're just going to have a look at creating a very short animation for this tutorial and then I will let you experiment with the other settings. Um, so here we've got our our objects on the page. I've drawn out uh, and mapped out the Umrah journey, and uh, I'm now going to use my little character to move around, uh, and then I'm going to voice record afterwards. So it's very simple. All we need to do is click uh, click the red button on the right, take a few images. They'll be selected, uh, created on the bottom of your of your stop motion um, play uh, stream at the bottom, and then we move our character physically and then take a few more snaps. Now it's important to take a few snaps at a time every time you move the character because it just creates a smoother animation. For those of you who know a little bit more about animation you'll know that animation is run at certain frames per second. Uh, quite often it can be like 20 odd frames a second so therefore you need to make sure you get enough frames in there. If you want to play back what you've just created just click on the, plus icon, uh, the play icon on the right hand side of your screen and it should give you a nice little run through of what you've just made. Okay, so those are the basics. Now you can go into other settings uh, to, to change the way the speed of the, of the, um, of the animation works. You can apply filters, etc., uh, which is in that settings icon there on the bottom. So we've got speed, we've got fade options, we've got the ratio options for your screen. You can have some filters added on there. And we've got the output. We've also got uh, different types of playback, play once, loop uh, in a playback, um, and also three second delay. Okay. So we're not going to mess with these settings just for now. What we are going to do is just click on the, I the microphone icon to record a short phrase that we can attach to this particular scene. So here, so we get an icon, uh, an option there to record your voice. We click on record and it starts to display a recording message. So our person is going to go on the Umrah now and it starts the journey at step one with the Ehram. Okay, once you've, played, once you've stopped recording you can play it back. If you're not happy you can record over it again. When you're happy press done and there you have it. You've now recorded on that scene. You can see at the bottom of my screen there that I've got a blue music icon or music, musical note and that tells me that the recording was successful. Okay, and that's all for this tutorial. 